it's me, your favorite Sharpie. Today is Riddle Day. Protein for your brain. Stop him, he's the thief. It's not a TV inside the box. Not me. <laughs> Why is this so accurate of how retail works? When I used to work in a clothing store and somebody walked out that we saw stealing, we weren't allowed to trace after them. We were supposed to tell the manager or just like stand at the door and be like, Stop! You violated the law. But only if you were 100% sure that they stole something. You don't know what's in the box. They just walked right out of the Best Buy without the dude checking their receipt. That's illegal. Who stole a TV? Okay, tell me why this dude looks homeless or a millionaire. I don't know. Maybe he's smuggling one inside his coat or his pants. You know, that's a thing. Dudes be sliding TVs down their pants. You know what they do when they walk around like this and just like walk out of the Walmart. Free TV. B's box looks empty. Yeah, see? I, I saw his arm through the other side. There's definitely not a TV in there. A stole a TV. He lying. You can't trust anybody that wears the off-brand Adidas jumpsuit. Adidas never made a tracksuit that color. He a liar. TV. He's the real thief. Wow. What a liar. He literally said, there's not a TV in here. Maybe she'll believe me. Okay, I believe you. Okay, but did he get his free TV? Two guys try to get a girl's attention and show off their money. The first one sends her a selfie of him standing in front of a private jet. Could be anybody's private jet. He could just work at the airport. Hey, sir, you better put your reflective vest back on. The second one sends a photo of him flying a jumbo jet. Which one is richer? Wait, that's it? One is flying a jet and one is taking a selfie in front of a jet. I think I'm gonna go with the person flying the jet. Pilots make a lot of money. I'm gonna go with the redhead pilot over here, Wendy's long lost brother. <laughs> Wow, see what I tell you, he just work at the airport. I'm just the cleanup crew, but I'm gonna just take a photo and be like, yeah, hopping on this private jet. The jet set life is exhausting. Yeah, the cleaning part. Fake it till you make it. Who's lying? Use the boy's toilet. But I'm a girl. Kim Possible promoted to bathroom police. Like no warning or anything, just use the boy's toilet. What do you mean I'm a girl? I feel like if you were actually a girl, you'd be like, what? What did you say to me, purple tank top? You would think that's a girl. Besides the fact that they're wearing a wig and obviously not a very good one because I can still see your sideburns creeping through. Your sideburns may be creeping through, but you ain't creeping through this bathroom. Not today. But is it a girl? Though. I think not because they're panicking like what? I'm, a, I'm a girl a wig y'all hear that you wear a wig and it's not a very good wig You're obviously not a girl logic literally nobody will ever call you out on this Unless you got a full beard and a Ronald McDonald wig on and try to use the women's restroom Okay, I will be there to stop you like no a very rich landowner died in his quiet English town. He loved fishing and hunting on his private land and had three sons who arrived to hear his will. Oh yeah, man, I waited 18 long years for this. The first son was a vegetarian. The second was an animal rights activist. Well, heck, y'all ain't getting any money. Dad loves hunting and fishing. Those don't go well together with a vegetarian and an animal rights activist. Y'all probably didn't get along with daddy. The third one was a banker. Oh, he loves that money. Who got most of father's money? Oh, well, this is pretty easy. Smash like if you know which one it was. Turquoise cardigan, I'm looking at you. You like money? Well, guess your lucky day. They love animals more than they love daddy and his money. Man, imagine that. In this household, all you gotta do is eat meat and get millions of dollars in inheritance. All right, sounds simple enough. Smash like if meat eater. Comment below vegetarian. Ain't nothing wrong with being a vegetarian. Vegetarian. I do love me some chickpeas. I don't like grass though, and I do love me my nuggets. There was a thunderstorm and the power had gone out. In the morning, Joan discovered that her money and jewelry were missing. That's what you get for keeping racks on racks of cash in your house. She called the police, and then the police interviewed the neighbors. Yeah, because it would totally be a neighbor. They're the only people that would take your jewelry and money. I got home late last night after work, says Richard. I was really tired, so I went straight to bed. So unless I got my booty up and started sleepwalking and stuck my hand in your mattress, pulled out the money, it wasn't me. Okay, I believe you. Linda cooked dinner like a good little housewife, read a bedtime story to her son. Oh my God, is that Caillou? Then I stayed with him because he was afraid of the dark. Of course you did. After you snuck out 
not and stole my money, Linda. David lit a candle and read a book. I fell asleep right there on the couch. And when I woke up, it was morning already. We got two sleepwalker thieves. That ain't no Bath and Body Works candle. It would have been Dunzo if he wasn't lying. David ain't even looking you in the eye. Ooh, Richard looks suspicious. Like I was sleeping, David fell asleep. I don't trust one of you. His candle would have burnt out completely by morning. Yes, this is true. Would have set his book on fire and his whole house on fire. This liar, David, he blew out his candle and was like, oh, everybody's security system off tonight. Perfect time to loot the neighborhood. Which one of these dudes in jail is the richest? Who got the most money? We talking about jail money? Like I could go to the commissary and buy all the ramen noodles. Or like a real life. You know, maybe I'm gonna go with A because he got a cell phone. Not a lot of dudes in jail be just like chilling there talking on a cell phone. Where did you get that from? You must got like hookups. You buying everybody ramen noodles so that they could get you a phone. He probably traded it for some Doritos. All this jail food talk reminds me of this video I watched the other day. Ever have a chili chili? Cheese dog, top ramen hot pocket. This is everything you'll need. Fill your top ramen up with the hottest running water you can get. Let it sit for 10 seconds and dump it out. Chop up your pepperoni sticks, crush up your Doritos, add your cheese on top, top that off with your chili beans. You basically make this mess of Doritos, beans, nacho cheese, hot dogs, and then put it inside a square of ramen noodles, right? Let it sit for five minutes. You take it out and you got a freaking ramen burrito and you got a whole entire ramen burrito man they out here eating good in the correctional facility but anywho back to our little riddle that we're trying to still solve I'm gonna go with a because he has a cell phone B looks like he asked for an organic meal I wonder what he had to do for those grapes C just look like a happy dude with some nacho teeth okay yeah it's him cuz he got a phone only the big boys got a phone Three friends met in a cafe. They hadn't seen each other for months and had lots of things to chat about. My husband and I went to the capital of the United States. You mean Washington, D.C.? How did you like New York? Wow, you are an idiot! There's really people this dumb? Oh, it's a really beautiful city. My husband and I can't wait to go back. Diana immediately knew Ellison was lying. How? What a fool! You look so stupid. The capital of the US is Washington DC. That's like saying, oh, I went to see the Eiffel Tower. It was beautiful. Oh, how did you like New York? Oh, it was great. I can't wait to go back. How you think you look. What you really look like. What's the purpose of this? Excuse me, sir. Did you put a silly straw into a toilet bowl? Maybe he's blowing up some balloons, but with, with a toilet. That, that is a toilet, right? What do you mean, what is the purpose of this? Or maybe he's just like trying to suck something out, but he's holding it before the water actually comes up into his mouth. <laughs> Smash like if no idea. I can't be the only one that has absolutely no idea. Is this how the Visco girls save the toilets? I mean turtles. Oops, you breathe in a fire. What? Bro, where do I even begin? First of all, if you are in a building that is on fire, you're gonna try to get out. You're not gonna chill in the toilet and be like, hmm, do they have this like behind the toilet, maybe perhaps attached to the plunger or something? Where do you get this contraption in the first place? And then stick it all the way in. Make sure you don't get any toilet water. You have to stick it in at just the right angle so that you can breathe in. Oh man, you're gonna breathe in that water. Public toilet water, you're breathing it in. There might be a little humidity in the air. I don't know. This could actually be a completely legitimate thing and I'm just an idiot. What's the purpose of this? The more I look at this photo, the stranger it gets. It's like a cabinet, but a phone comes out of it, and they're in a car. But it's not a real policeman, it's like a cardboard cutout. Is she in trouble? She's allowed to make her phone call, maybe she's breaking out of the jail. That's not a real cop! He don't got any legs! Where did his legs go? Oh my god, you know what this is for? People who want to drive in the carpool lane and only have one person. So it makes it look like there's two people in the car so they could drive in the carpool lane. That's it. An imaginary friend? Excuse me, Karen. He's clearly there. He's clearly not imaginary. Why is there a glass jewelry box with a phone coming out of it? Are you pretending to speak to him? How is this an imaginary friend? Is there more? The riddle's over. The riddle's over and I still don't have my answers. It's not an imaginary friend. It's a real friend. He's right there. You see, this. This is my imaginary friend. There's nobody here. I'm so confused after that one. 
All right, this one is a little quiz to test what is my deepest fear. So we're gonna keep track of our points. What is your least favorite season? Probably winter. No, maybe summer. Probably summer. Yeah, I, I don't like summer. It gets way too hot here. Four. Do you like roller coasters? Oh, I love them. Okay, add another four. Who do you like to travel with? My friends, my family, just myself. Random people. Who travels with random people? You must really enjoy smushed up subway rides. Are you telling me there's people who really enjoy smushed up subway? Subway rides to work every day. Or maybe I'll take the Greyhound bus. Or maybe I'll just make friends with everyone on this airplane. Since they're all coming to my destination, maybe I'll have someone to hang out with. My friends, add a two. Which job offer would you decline? An actor or a model, a pilot, a waiter, or a clerk? Well, I'm obviously not qualified enough to be a pilot. An actor or a model are two completely different things. A waiter or a clerk? I would probably decline a waiter. I don't want to wait on people. I can't even wait for my food. Yeah, yeah, we ain't doing that. The place you feel least comfortable about. A dark room. A hospital. A tall building. An old building. Mm, probably a hospital. I really don't like hospitals. I don't know what it is. It's very hard for me to like breathe in a hospital. Maybe because there's death in the air. The worst gift you could imagine. A trip. Just for you. Room decor. A pet. A book. Oh, I would love to be surprised with a pet, but like it has to be a pet I actually want. Probably a book. If I want to read something, Something, I'll read it myself. Yeah, I, I would be very, very disappointed if somebody got me a book. Actually, no, because people have given me like cookbooks and other stuff that I really enjoyed. Oh my god, I don't know which one. I trip just for myself because like I'm not gonna travel by myself. So so it's pretty useless. Your favorite animal? <laughs> the dog. Specifically that one. Look at him. He's cute. He cutie as heck. It's not a wolf, guys, despite my name. I like dogs. Uh, I mean a wolf is a dog, so. So add up all your numbers together. Together. I got 16. Losing your loved ones is your biggest fear if you got 1 through 5. 6 through 10, natural disasters. 11 through 15, your deepest fear is poverty. Well, let's see mine. What's mine? 16 through 20, physical pain. <laughs> think so. Okay, maybe a little bit. 21 through 25. Have your reputation ruined. Oh, there's more? Oh, 26 through 28. Nothing seems to bother you much. Comment below. What did you get? What is your deepest fear? I feel like losing my loved ones is my deepest fear. This quiz sucked. Seven second riddles. I want a refund. I'm, I'll be checking my mail for a check, okay? Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. The Comment below, let me know how many you got right. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.